Hey everyone, it's the Life Doctor here, and it's been a super long time since I have uploaded a video to YouTube. If you follow me on Facebook, however, um, you'll see um, that I do post maybe about once a week or so, so you will be a little bit more in touch with what's going on with me. But yeah, I am I am so busy these days that I just haven't had the time to um, upload to YouTube and I'm sorry about that but I do have some updates for you and um, again like I said if you follow me on Facebook you probably already know that my family was blessed to be able to purchase a new home and so that's part of the reason why I've been so busy and neglectful in terms of uploading to YouTube but um, we are excitedly packing and moving and transferring our belongings to our new home we're not doing it in one um, big move uh, because we're moving um, just a few miles away from where our current residence is um, we are able to kind of move things over piece by piece on the weekends as we are able um, for us that's just a better fit for our lifestyle having two small children uh, we can just kind of get things over there when we can and then by the end of the month we should be fully moved over and uh, residing in our new home so we are super excited about that but uh, it is keeping us really really busy so that's an update with regard to um, the house now another update is with regard to homeschooling now again if you follow me on Facebook but even if you saw my videos on YouTube because I did post a few about homeschooling you know that I am homeschooling my children my son is five and he's in kindergarten and my daughter is two so of course she's a preschooler um, and uh, you know my homeschooling tactics for her are just not as structured obviously as it is for my son but I am learning so so much I mean by profession and by training um, and experience you know I am a clinical psychologist and professor so education or being in the education arena is nothing new for me and so of course I you know in addition to feeling convicted about homeschooling my kids I really believe that this would be something that I could do no problem not necessarily that it would be easy but that it would be well within my um, ability um, to, to do it and that is true it is within my ability to homeschool my kids as it is I think any parent for the most part um, but I am learning so much about me and my expectations my level of patience or lack thereof um, and just really having to have some reflective moments about what it is I'm trying to do and so for me I am trying to disciple my children I'm trying to um, help them grow to be Christ followers and to um, love each other love us love their friends and ultimately of course love God and that's the ultimate role that I feel I need to be playing in their lives as parents is to to, to make disciples of them and um, and in doing that of course we're going to learn about other things like math and science and reading and writing literature so forth and so on but everything as far as possible is going to point back to God um, but I'm learning that it is th this whole homeschooling thing for me is is a faith journey and a journey where I really have to trust God see for those who know me really well you know that I'm a planner and I am pretty I'm pretty structured so when I decide to do something it's usually not haphazard it's usually well thought out and planned out and I would have started planning well in advance prior to executing whatever the thing is and that you know and homeschooling was no different so I started planning um, almost a year ago uh, to homeschool my kids and at that time I started developing a curriculum for both my son and my daughter even though my daughter what I do with her is a lot less structured because she's two and she's gonna kinda do what she feels like doing I'm gonna do some guided work with her but I mean she's two but even though that's the case I did also de develop a curriculum for her and when I say develop I mean develop I mean I pulled resources from all over the place and customized a curriculum for her as well as for him so I have the entire year the entire academic calendar mapped out um, per day per day um, so that's just to give you an idea of how structured I tend to be so now I'm putting all this into practice I'm executing I'm, I'm actually doing this I'm like 
okay, Arlene, you're doing too much. And in watching different homeschooling vloggers, um, I will not forget that one homeschooling mom noted that whatever you plan to do with your child, particularly if you are a first time homeschooling mom, which I am, whatever you plan to do with your child, after you make those plans, after you develop your calendar, cut it in half. And I was like, there's no way, that's crazy. I can't cut my, it's absolutely, absolutely the right advice. And I have found that over the few months, um, just, you know, last month and this month that we, well, actually we started kind of late August, um, really. So, uh, you know, over the few months that we've been doing this, I am finding that I am having to pick and choose out of the stuff that I've developed for my son, um, which is fine, which is good because I, you know, I guess overall having too much to too much at my disposal is better than not having enough. And so I'm able to pick and choose what of you know the the vast um, array of options for him to do. So I guess that's a blessing. Um, I certainly have the resources because I was so planful. But that kind of speaks to also my level of my expectations, my level of um, my, my desire, what I'm wanting him to do for his age. And I'm also having to kind of reevaluate that and remind myself that he's five. And so there are certain things that he might excel in. There are certain things that he might have more challenges with. And that's okay. And that's the beauty of homeschool. And to just relax and make sure that this is a, um, a fun journey for him um as, as well as my daughter um who i just heard in the monitor i'm hoping she's dreaming anyway um so yeah so i just wanted to share that update with regard to homeschooling because maybe you're a new homeschooling mom or dad um or grandma or whoever but you're new to homeschooling and you have super high expectations which are great to have but those expectations need to be balanced in reality um and maybe your patience is wearing thin give yourself grace um if a day comes and you've just had it Maybe that day you don't need to homeschool. Maybe that day is a great day to go to the park or go to the zoo or just take a nature walk around your house. But that's the beauty of homeschooling. You can be creative and spontaneous and you can do different things. And it's all learning um, and um, just grow and develop and and um, really make it a great experience for you and your children. So that's my update with regard to homeschooling. The final update is with regard to my health. I guess I'm covering all H's today because I did house, homeschooling, and now I'm doing health. So again, if you've been following me, you know that I have been on a healthy lifestyles journey. I am in a different phase right now. Prior to now, I had been in a weight loss mode where I lost 85 to 90 pounds, somewhere around there. I was running, working out, training for races, hitting it hard pretty much six days a week, trying to be very strict and structured with regard to how, how I was eating. And thankfully, I was successful with that. So now that I'm not in the weight loss mode per se, but more maintenance, my um, my regimen has changed a little bit. I work out four to five days a week. The types of working out that I do is a little bit different. I'm not running every day. I'm doing prim mostly cardio, but there's a lot more strength-based components to it as well. And um, my eating, I try to be healthy, but I'm a little more relaxed in my eating, put it that way. But if you recall, I did say that I was going to be doing challenges every other month. And so um, a challenge was done last month in September and this month, October is off. And so then a challenge is coming up in November. And one of the reasons that I really, really know that I need to do this challenge for myself in November is because we are approaching the holiday season. And I don't know about you, but all I know is when the holiday season rolls around, I tend to eat like I have no sense, okay? And so I am trying to, especially, um, even though I've successfully lost weight, I still have issues with food. So I am trying to really um, become more sensible and, 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 and maintain a sense of, um, I guess, composure when I'm around food, like just be reasonable around food, particularly the holidays, because I'm going to be visiting my folks. And I know there's gonna be all kind of food there and we might be visiting other people and I just don't want to lose my mind. So um, my rationale is if I can, you know, develop at least for 21 days, 
some kind of pattern of eating healthy. And it doesn't even have to be something super strict or regimented, just something that is realistic. Um, then I'm hoping that that will kind of flow into the holiday season so that I don't necessarily have to put on the five to seven pounds that people typically put on during the holiday season. So I'm not for sure on what exactly the challenge is going to be. It's if it's going to be like a 21 day vegetarian challenge, a 21 day vegan challenge, 21 day green smoothie challenge, 21 day um, raw food. Well, I don't think it's going to be raw food because I did that the last time. So um, it'll be probably vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian or green smoothie or some combination um, but I'll be sure to let you know and yes it's going to be for 21 days this is especially for me but if you'd like to join me feel free we can encourage one another also if you have any suggestions for what we can do for a challenge uh, in November then please feel free to share below so that's it I hope that this hasn't been too long and you are all caught up with what's going on with me and my family um, and so yeah this is the life doctor I will see you in the next video and hopefully that will be very very soon all right bye